Kogi State has sent to law four bills that will have direct financial implications and economic development in the state. Governor Bello, during the signing, commended the state assembly members for the purposeful efforts to ensure Kogi moves forward in terms of good tidings that would help to generate more income in the state. Governor Bello also assured me assembly members to make sure all bills signed to law are fully implemented in the state, saying their commitment to make laws work is a wake-up call to all ministries and parastatas to implement them, and promise not to take it lightly with any ministry who fail to implement the directives. Our reporter has more. The Speaker of the House of Assembly expressed his displeasure over many bills signed to law and yet to be implemented in the state. He said it took too much commitment from all members to make sure the bills are passed. He assured the state government of their commitment at all times to make sure Kogi and the people get better. And Your Excellency, we want to assure you that after assent to these bills, it is our conviction in the Kogi State House of Assembly that we have contributed our own quota, our own quota to the revenue generation of Kogi State. But Your Excellency, I would like to inform Your Excellency that most of the bills that are being passed by the Kogi State House of Assembly are not implemented by the various, by some ministries. And we believe we had a very hard time to pass these bills into law. And most of the bills are just there, lying down with the ministry. We urge Your Excellency to direct those ministry to implement some of our laws, the, the of law of the state, so that some areas will be covered. See, on behalf of my distinguished honorable colleagues, we want to thank you for the security architecture you have put in place in Kogi State, uh, particularly in our rural areas that has made us to be comfortable, we work freely in the entire Kogi State. The governor commended the seventh assembly, said they have performed efficiently, and that the relationship between the three tiers of government have been cordial and promised to keep the temple. Remember, we inherited a state that was virtually lawless. You know, uh, this particular seventh assembly have done greatly, and I appreciate you all. And I continue to urge you to live in peace and harmony among yourselves with the legislature and even with the executive and even the judiciary. On numerous bills not implemented, Governor Bello called on all state ministry and parastatas with immediate effect to begin to, to implement them, and any ministry from one thing will be determined. I urge the Kogi State House of Assembly under the leadership of the speaker to please help to identify all of these laws that we have passed and I have signed into law, but unimplemented by the various agencies or ministries or parastatals, so that we can jointly carry out M&E, that is monitoring and evaluation, to ensure that they are complied with. We don't want a situation where you'll be forced to obey the law. You have to obey it and ensure that we make Kogi State the greatest state as far as Nigeria is concerned. We call on all citizens, business owners, and those earning their living in the state to comply with the laws, stating that the newly signed laws will facilitate a clean environment and increase in revenue generation. The bills signed to the law are a bill for a law to provide for the establishment of the Kogi State Sanitation and Waste Management Board. 2022, and to provide for the enactment of Kogi State Environmental Health Law and other matters connected therewith. A bill for a law to provide for the movement of agricultural produce within Kogi State and other matters connected therewith. 2022. A bill for a law to provide for the regulation of outdoor structure for the displays of signage and advertisements and other matters connected therewith, 2022. And a bill for a law to repair and reenact the Kogi State Hotels and Tourism Board, edit 1995, and establishing the Kogi State Hotels and Tourism Board, and other matters connected therewith, 2022. Esther Michael, reporting for MLC TV. <laughs>